good day to you. Hope you're having a wonderful day. I want to read to you from Proverbs. This is going to be in chapter 17, and it's verse 12. I'm reading this from the Amplified Bible. Let a man meet a ferocious bear robbed of her cubs, rather than the angry, narcissistic fool in his folly. Now, that is the Amplified Version. Let's look at the New English Translation. It is better for a person to meet a mother bear being robbed of her cubs than to encounter a fool in his folly. Now, let's see. Encounter... So I was trying to look at the notes on this. So they're making the comparison here that it's better to meet, you know how a bear fights for her cubs, better to meet her than to meet a person who is, you know, in their own narcissistic, selfish folly um, or beliefs. Now, the English Standard Version is a little simpler. Let a man meet a she-bear robbed of her cubs rather than a fool in his folly. And the, the Amplified actually does, in this case, I think, give us the best, the best version of this to, to explain what they're trying to get at. You know, um, I'm going to read that again. Let a man meet a ferocious bear robbed of her cubs rather than the angry, narcissistic fool in his folly. We see this today many times over, you know, when you're, when you have to deal with people, especially if they're angry and, and they're being narcissistic, they're all about themselves, just so you know, and a narcissist is someone who's just, just thinking of themselves purely and only, and all they care about is themselves and what they want and what they need, or what they think they need, I don't know if they truly need it. So here... This would be your choice. You would rather, okay? I mean, God himself is saying, believe me, you would rather meet a bear. <laughs> you know, this is one of those where you can say it's a, it's a, you know how Jesus said, you know, if your um, eye offends you, pluck it out and cut your foot off and your leg a hand off and stuff. Well, this is sort of one of those statements. Yeah, you really don't want to meet a ferocious bear and get killed, okay? You really don't. Um, but the comparison is still valid in that, you know how we are, sometimes we'd say, man, I would just, you know, I would rather do anything than deal with whatever this issue is. That's, and it's because like, oh, I'd rather do anything than go down and stand in line at the driver's license agency. <laughs> you know, some people are like, no, I don't want to do that. Or, or I don't want to go shopping. Oh man, just shoot me. You know, we say, I say that, I say stuff like that. I, and, and I shouldn't, but. <laughs> But I do. So, you know, these are valid. This is a valid comparison in that that's how bad it is to deal with some of the angry and narcissistic people that we deal with in life. And it's very difficult to deal with these folks. And we, we know it is. And again, I'm going to go back. This is something you're going to hear multiple times from me. We have to deal with these people in love and forgiveness we have to love them and forgive them even even though they are possibly being a pain to us or creating trouble for us we still want to love them and we want to forgive them so that's you know that's how we have to deal with this even though we would rather not deal with them at all um, but we do. In life, we're going to have to deal with these people. We're going to have to meet up with these people occasionally. Um, and the angry narcissist could be angry about any number of things. You may be, you may be trying to speak calmly and logically to them, but they are just offended to be offended, or they're just offended because they're already upset. And so in their anger and their thinking of only themselves, they lash out. The way to deal with that is, again, in love and forgiveness. Remember that 
that we're all human and we all make these same mistakes. And it doesn't matter if this person is a Christian or not, that we all make those mistakes. We're all human and God loves us all anyway. So I, I kind of laugh at this, but at the same time, this is, I know this is a real problem that we run into. And uh, the best thing we can do is take, take our advice from the Bible. Okay, so I do apologize for that. But just remember that, uh, you know, we, uh, we were looking here at Proverbs um, chapter 17, verse 12, where we want to go real quick is Proverbs. I'm trying to keep everything contained and keep these simple. Um, Proverbs chapter 15, verse 1. This is, this is how we deal with. This is how we deal with people. A soft and gentle and thoughtful answer turns away wrath. But harsh and painful careless words stir up anger. And that, that happens. Um, we need to remember that a soft and gentle and thoughtful answer turns away wrath. The tongue of the wise speaks knowledge that is pleasing and acceptable. But the babbling mouth of fools spouts folly. So that was verse 2. But the main, the main thing is Proverbs 15, verse 1. That was, my, that was my quote. When we're confronting these people, we need to remember that a soft and gentle and thoughtful answer turns away wrath. Now, I am reading from the Amplified. If you just go back to the English Standard Version, it will say simply, a soft answer turns away wrath. So when we run into that narcissistic person who's just full of anger and you know, all about themselves, just try to remember to, you know, give them a soft, kind answer. Understand that we've been there ourselves where we've been angry and upset and, you know, and maybe we unjustly lashed out or, you know, said something we shouldn't have said. And let's just try to remember that we ourselves have been there and that it's, you know, try to give them a, a soft answer and try to turn away that wrath and, I know for me, sometimes people have tricked me or fooled me like that. They've said something that it kind of made me look at myself and, and kind of shut up and quit, you know. So, that's the thing. When we meet that person, when we that's how we confront them. So we don't really confront them. Don't, don't go at them guns blazing, you know. Instead... Be kind, be nice, be loving. Give them that soft answer that they need to help them calm down so that maybe they can lose their, their anger and their wrath, which is, which is hurtful for them as well as those around them. So I hope this has been helpful to you. I, I hope the edit works out okay because i got to edit this together so that it sounds right. <laughs> but anyway, don't worry about that. I, I don't even know why I'd bother to mention that. But... Uh, Anyway, thanks for thanks for listening. Hope you have a wonderful day and remember God loves you.